Welcome back to To The Moon. Our last installment, we made a bit more progress in the story of exactly what's wrong with the memories that are happening. So now, we're actually going to see what's going to happen here as we try to fix what was messed up. Ugh. You can smell that squirrel Neo ran all of the way from here now. Upstairs. How's John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. You'd better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. So yes, we are actually in the present. In which, um, this is how the game first started, <laughs> per se. So let us go down into the kitchen. Sunday, dear. Shh. Let them sleep. And so we let them. Those two shouldn't have stayed up that late. But I should have washed them. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I know, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm sure you are even more so. I really need to take a seat. If there's anything you want to ask, let me sit down first. Well, getting some info is a good thing. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? yourself. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low, and the job market was grim. Just like today. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help get them back on their feet? They do, but and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on, on his own. He, did, he needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down, 
he really wanted a family. About the kids? So what are you going to tell them about John? I, I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. I, it's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. Death is a part of life, after all. About the future. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I guess. I, I suppose. Shame, though. It's going to miss Johnny in his place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Thank you for your time. Oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but he wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Rather somber, isn't she? And I'm in the bathroom. Why am I in the bathroom? Kitchen. No. Art room. Kitchen. No. Basement. And it just sounded like my stomach for a moment. Huh. What is it? Seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his use, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck! They tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if his side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount. Its impact on his memories at the time of, of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of its earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The main, the maintenance department yelled at me for scolding him. So what now? I was just given a reconfiguration frequencies that should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer a desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. Hmm. Hmm. You know, this job... Ha you know... This job hasn't been such a pain in the ass for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. Ahem! Forgot my coffee.
So we get a note, the beta blocker. Launching in and out of doors. The roadkill, Eva, it smells! I know, it's your fault for running it over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory, the one we were stuck at. It was the same smell! What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's lim limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I'm... Um, what? He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense of mem for memory recall. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he's still susceptible. I, I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now, you just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wait! Why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it! Exactly. I've done my part. Oh, you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. They aren't really disposable gloves, but they'll probably change after this. And so, having gloves on, we're going to go out and get some fresh roadkill! Oh, the things that happen, the things that you have to do in order to make everything fit, even if it means the nastiest thing you can possibly do at such short notice. Hmm. Deja vu. Get that row kill. The kind of things this job gets me into. Hmm. It's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ infected row kill like this. There's a valve container in the car. It at least makes its odor controllable. So we get inside the car and we find a container of sorts. Meanwhile, Where are you going? I... I gotta go take a leak. She's clueless as to what's going on. <sighs> what a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. Mm-hmm. 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 Ah, here it is. Valve container. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. Which is like this. Ugh. Receive container roadkill odor. The nastiest thing you'll ever have. And the last thing you ever want to remember is the scent of roadkill in your hot little hands. Oh, this smells just nasty. It's just, oh, 
The things I do just to get an honest paycheck around here, I swear to God, I can't believe I'm doing. Oh, hey! Did you get the roll kill? It's ready. Great! Go get us up! I'll be right back! Where are you going? I. I gotta. gotta go feed my digital pet! What? Yeah! Do that! I'll be feeling retro! Anyway, hurry and go set things up. I'll be there in no time. What are you... We got someone dying back there! Hmm. What the potato is he up to? No time to check on him now. I can imagine after all this time, he really do have to take a leak. Meanwhile, back in in the room. So when we get to the to that exact point, I'll send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it mattered to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Lacks the last thing we need. Back into the dream world. Act three. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Wow, already. We are here. During his adolescent stage. Let's go. Damn! Okay! That's pretty sweet, man. That is pretty sweet. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go. From the soccer ball to somewhere else. To think that this little thing's causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it to our space. I suppose all we can do now is to send a signal and hope. Well, ready? Oh shit! Something's happening. Quick, send it again! What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong! What? Take over me, Lily. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. Happening to this place. It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory now. What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. You've got any kid Why aren't you get why aren't you getting out then? 
I can't kneel. If both of us get out under this state, all of our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny... Oh, you freaking... Don't pull that contrived trap on me! This ain't a movie and you're no hero! You're just being a moron! Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here! Screw that! If you're gone, then... They'll probably pair me up with Alistair! Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roll kill! Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. Doctor? I think we're okay for now. And we're back here again. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks! Wait a minute. Yeah, and the last Christmas party you... Oh. Come on. Let's go. Let's go before that happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? This ball... Here goes nothing. That ball will take us all the way over to... here. Right to his childhood. Wow. I can't believe that worked. So, we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? Seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Besides the music? Yeah, what? Besides the music? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? Uh, I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. Okay. What we are seeing here is all points what the fuck is going on. Wow, that sounds fabulous! I know, right? You've got to take them there one day. Yet, it seems like a normal, everyday part of society. Sheesh, the time lap- the time overlap's getting out of hand. Looks like the ball's moving around on its own. He's just chasing it. Look at look at how many of them are there. It's like a zoo. Mm -hmm. We got two. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez! Look at the time. I better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Well, this is the end of the road. 
And you were saying... Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, I mean, this place. So peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... Shit! Duh! We need to go back. Now! Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come! That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, that, that, oh shit. Oh no, it's you, you hawker show. No! Ooh. Oh my god I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. Uh, what? Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey! Joey? Can you hear me? Joey? Why'd you hit Joey, Ma? Why'd you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey! Wake up! Twins. Joey. Even though they were young, to lose a twin brother not to mention how their mother must feel. At least Johnny had had the beta blockers erase the memories. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. At least, I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she took, but she then takes Johnny for Joey. What about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, um... Mm, we got Roadkill here. All thanks to this little fella's sacrifice. I hope... Yeah, I see this is like the most fucked up, that's the most fucked up version ever known.
most fucked up thing that can ever happen to somebody. And I can tell you, I'm one third of a trio. Because originally there was supposed to be three of us. The other two were still birth. And, um, well, I was the one who survived all that. So we receive a note, Joey. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd. It's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. Growing up. Dude, you should totally give this series a try! I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed through three books straight. What's it called? Animorphs? It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs? Yeah, that sounds like Gowl Ranger right there. Meh, I don't like that weird alien stuff. Oh, that's Super Sentai, kid. You don't know what you're missing. Why not? It's great! Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn the tigers into all big bad aliens. They're all like, rawr, 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 rawr. And then they pick up lasers. And it's all, pew 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 Stop that. <laughs> Just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm gonna be a famous writer. Mm hmm. I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. Mm hmm. I'll make us rich and buy both you and my really big houses. Mm hmm. Well, how would you get rich if you give away the books for free? Promotional copies. Free for kids. The parents will still have to pay, of course. Genius. Yeah, I'm sure that the parents will be thrilled to give you money. What? You still mad about the other day? Oh, come on. I call first dibs on the train fair and square. What happened to your prize, anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know, Ma always favored you. Yeah, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter? And the time we went fishing and... Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want to. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reason, she'll just get me another one, right? Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we, go, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right! I mean, come on. You're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Hmm. Oi, right, let's go, Kafu's neighbors. Wait, in the rain? Yes, in the rain! Come on! We received a note. We received a note. Animals.
Yeah, that's selling you something right there. We're going places. Just right about here. Some kind of carnival, huh? Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? A quick blabbering go already. Aw, oh, you ruined it. Yeah, we're definitely going places, that's for damn certain. I don't want this stupid toy! I want the train! That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Joey wanted fair square, didn't he? I wanted to! He just went first! <laughs> it's okay, I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny? John has the grumpy cat face right now. Okay, you dumplings, don't don't block the stand now. Come, let's go see what's over there. I'm not a dumpling. You know what? I'm going to call you dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. Ah, uh, yes, fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer, and this one a doctor. Oh my! Come on, I'm getting you both treats. Hey, hey where's my chip? like that we just lost him <laughs> actually no we haven't lost him we just have to look around even further all right it's three blocks of members of the scene three three blocks okay Oranges and tomatoes, we got it all! Wait a minute, tomatoes aren't fruits. Yeah, they're vegetables. Uh, yeah, they are. They're the ovaries of the plant and contain seeds. That's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes? We never ever refer to them as fruits. They've always been vegetables. We... I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take uh, some of us take cooking very seriously. They're offering foods. They're offering pokey bears. No way, I ain't talking to her. Good or bad, I'll be screwed either way. Call me now for your free reading. Welcome and behold, the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we write it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. <laughs> Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know, don't care. Welcome to Walton's Mountain.
I cannot proceed further without another block of memory. Oh, curse you, curse you, and damn you, and fart on you all! Hey, is that whack a mole? Whack a what? Whack a mole! You take a mallet and whack moles! Isn't that animal abuse? No, that's PETA. That's animal abuse. They're fake moles, butthead. It's how people blew out steam before FPS were invented. Yes! That's right! That's right! <laughs> how primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. I don't play, just add everything on the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes! Uh, yes. Use the mouse. Fine, I will use the mouse. Make me think about a hedgehog camera. I am the master of whack a mole. 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 You know, if this was real whack a mole, there'd be no way in the world I'd be playing like this. Let's see now. Out of 48 total appearances, you struck. 85 times made 42 successful hits. That's an 87% hit rate. It's your new record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The only mini game in this game right, right here, right now. So therefore, yeah, that's it. That's whack-a-mole. You got your whack-a-mole right there. So now that I have three bars. I can proceed. Mm -mm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. What's that? Yeah, I don't want to taste regular olives. You should try. You should try at least one, John. Who knows? Maybe you'll like it. Mmm. Mmm. I'm done now. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground and not an inch too far. Just leave that bag. I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine. I want it! Thus, the pickle olives were born. So, let's go follow, shall we? Just so we know where the hell we're going to afterwards. Okay, I need one more.
there's another bar here somewhere. But it has to be found. There we go. Now we can proceed. And we could cross over this way. Way to follow mom's orders, huh? So he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It's just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Mm. Yeah? There was a hill outside of the city that we'd stay at, same one every year. We'd watch the stars till day daybreak. Well, I did mostly, he just carried a telescope for me. The thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Look at me now, I'm staying up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and he had the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I'd actually slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. What? You're terrible. I know. Shame though. All these nice memories. Lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Mm hmm. Oh, sh. Oh, shit. I, 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 I told you, Pat's a tiger dwell here. Wait, no. 
Oh, wait, don't go. Don't, don't go. Go, wait, wait, wait. I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to haunt this place on myself. Um, you want to join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? Beautiful shot of them up close. Just look at him. Did you know there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, uh, I did too. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowns? Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even the bathroom is named John. Any, even in India? Probably. What's wrong? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with having a name that everyone ha has? Well, it's boring, I guess. Hell, I'm named after a country. <sighs> and you almost think my name could have been called Isidore. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? have the same name everyone else has? It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. Hmm, I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are, are anyways? My dad says they're giant burning spears of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter bunnies, kangaroos, kangaroos. Stuff like that. Have you ever made an Easter bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, uh, other things. Never tried a rabbit, though. You want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see who makes one out first. <laughs> okay, we'll start in three. Two, one, and I see it. it. Where? In the sky. Um, but 
Where in the sky? Think hmm. big. Yay. Bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! I see it! Tell me what you see. There, right? There are the two ears and head. What else? And there, there's his two feet. Yes, what else? And, and the moon! The moon is its big round belly! I kind of see it myself. Although the entire time, I've always... Yeah, that's it. Actually, to be honest, I've always kind of looked real hard and saw there was a face in the moon. So, what do you think they really are? The stars, you mean? I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. I can all see the other lighthouses out there and they want to talk to them. But I can't because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. Just like hearts. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. Just like people. So that's what they do. <clears throat> they shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Why you? Because one day I'm going to befriend one of them. What's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won from the from Whack a Mole. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. Where'd you get it from? I got a thing. Don't know really what it is. But it's a thing. Some kind of weird duck beaver thing. Which is the platypus. May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! That's Mama calling! You know what? Keep it, it's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. Don't like the break, but I'm totally the best at that game! Will you be here next year? Yep, will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. What if you forget or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Hm. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Johnny! Coming! Oh yeah, forgot my hacky sack in the back. You say you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. Broad smile on her face. <sighs> if 
they ever get lost? Wait, does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. In here, I thought this was gonna be an inspirational childhood dream story. I should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. And what's wrong with that, man? I suppose now we know what we must do to send them to the moon. Wait. You aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we are contracted to do. Damn it, Eva, what? Eva. <laughs> and we are here. Right around here. I know you're in here. And we get a note about the moon. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop. And in the next part, we're going to continue. As to the moon continues right after this.